Jacob Malesio. <laughs> in parentheses, start Mason. I was right in front of Warren for his first NFL touchdown. <laughs> Let's get it, man. No, that was dope. I was actually super happy to see that, man. I was hoping that Matt Canada would go back to him after he called the first two plays. I'm like, man, we're picking it up, but I know how coordinators get. It's like, man, all right, when he ran this play twice, it didn't work. Go to the quarterback sneak. I'm like, don't you go to this court. Don't you steal this Jalen Warren touchdown. So it was really good to see that, man. I was happy for him, man. I'm mad his celebration got cut short by the uh, the ruckus <laughs> that was taking place. But, you know, I, 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 wherever he was going with the point, I don't know where he was going after this. But wherever he was going, I was with him. That's all I'm saying. All right? Shout out to Jalen, man. Obviously, you know, we had him on the show a couple of weeks ago and stuff like that, man. But, um, yeah, I'm really happy for him, man, because... He was clearly on a trajectory to keep expanding his role and then obviously had the hamstring injury. Last week was his first game back, limited in terms of the usage, but this week a little bit more, and we could still see it once again, what he brings to the table as a receiver and as a running back. Um, so, yeah, he's one of them dudes, the, the more healthy he is, I feel like you keep giving him more opportunities because even though Najee did some positive things yesterday, it is still a very distinct difference. When 30 got that rock in his hand versus when 22 got that rock in his hand. Not saying that I'm on the TG or D train. <laughs> I'm just simply saying it's a different level of explosiveness when 30 has that rock versus 22. That's all. But I am not going as far as to what you guys have been on. So, yes, just for the record. All we were saying is trading Najee for a first or second round pick. Uh -huh. What do you think of that? Yeah. Uh -huh. not, no comment. You wouldn't do I, it? I, I'm on my Gio, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on my Gio, I'm Giovanni Bernard today. It, it, it's my fault. Whatever it was, it's me. Yep, I did it. Yep, yep, you're right. It was me, 100%. Okay? That's how I feel about it. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I'm liking this dynamic a lot. This mm -hmm. is probably the first game where it's come to full fruition where you really felt the one-two punch of yeah. Anaji Harris, Jalen Warren. Absolutely. And how they complement each other so good. So, Absolutely, uh, Yeah, man. I like the vibes with those two. Excited to see him for the rest of the weeks in this season, but also I mean, this could be something going forward, like heading mm -hmm. into next year. I would agree, man. I would even though Q says he's still on the TG train, he's trying to roll with y'all and move on from Najee. I'm not trying to. I'm just, yeah, yes, you I'm are. Not you trying you to. was on he's, board. Donald he's our Co RB one. Donald Copeland is with me. He says Naj was balling. <laughs> so yes, I agree. He was balling, and we're gonna leave it at that. We're not moving him. We're not gonna do any of this TG and Deep collab that they've been trying to push on us these past couple weeks. We're not entertaining that Nas did what he was supposed to do we just like 30 a little the, the, the tandem it's like it's like they're they're casey and jojo you know it's casey and jojo i don't want casey by himself i don't want they singers from, you know you heard this song all my life i'm sorry oh, oh good oh, you know i got you i got you i got you it is like i was gonna say ray shrummerd have you heard of them yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like Slim Jimmy without Sway Lee. They're dope, but Black I like Beatles. them both together. I don't want them by themselves. I want them together. They had the whole trend, right? Black yes, Beatles? yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. So that type of concept, then you know what I mean. So it's like, oh yeah, they got some good songs. Yeah, but put them together, they dope as heck. Separate, it's like, all right, you got it's a vibe, but it ain't the same though. So that's kind of how I look at it. Would you mind if? the workload shifted a little bit i'm not tripping on sometimes i like a little more Warren, sway Lee than slim 60, jimmy 70. that's all sometimes i yeah it's like we listen to me no i think i think we got a good thing going. I, that was probably uh, what was that nausea 60 percent maybe hold on let me look no not nausea definitely was the bell cow it was just it was oh yeah he yeah 24. he was the bell cow yeah warren, warren i wouldn't had mind 11. giving four or five of those to warren though See, getting it closer to 50 50 no, to me i look at it like this i i like Naj with the amount of touches he got yesterday i would increase Jalen's touches, but in the past game, he only was throwing the ball one time. Oh, yeah. I want more. I want. Yeah, we saw I what he did in the five. Ravens game. I want. That. I want five pass targets, eleven rush touches, like fifteen to, to twenty touches. But I want five of them things definitely coming through air through the air because to me, when he gets that ball in open field, man, he is such a hard player to tackle because of how explosive he is. And you can see, man, the surprise element. He'll even try to jump over you at times. I was a little surprised that he made it over him, but still, it's like, you know, he been hanging with Najee, so I get it. I get it. <laughs> but, you know, he's just a tough guy to tackle in open field because of his explosiveness. So, yeah, man, I wanted to see him get more touches that way versus just the traditional handing him off the ball in the backfield. Goes to everything we talked about in the preseason, how you could utilize him. We didn't know about his 
hands just yet. Correct. It, it seemed like it was always good in the preseason, but yeah. he's been showing it more and more mm-hmm. as the regular season's gone on. He could be like one of those Patriot running backs for us. Yeah. It uh, goes hand in hand with getting him like uh, five man, or six uh, but, but touches. Between, between a Rex Burkhead, a Giovanni Bernard, when you think of... Um, I th- I'd say Dion Lewis or like a Shane Vereen. Even a, even a Sproles. He's very similar to him. Yeah. I don't like. I think that you know because you think they every once in a while they hand up all of the Sproles. He had that type of game too. Yeah, but um, what's the cat that's in uh, L.A. right now with the Chargers? Uh, Acres. Uh, no, no, no. Um, with the Chargers. Oh, my bad. Eckler. Eckler. Yep, yep. Another similar type of style like that. So yeah. That corner says Draft Kings Sports Book. Yeah, no. America's top rated sports booking app. And, ladies and gentlemen, they are the best in the business, man, in terms of same game parlays, in terms of just being able to make a player prop bet, you know, things like that. Having the flexibility to get paid on time. Who doesn't want to get paid on time? And at the same time, man, just being able to have versatility to look and um, just combine whether it's, like I said, the same game parlay or multiple game parlays. Ah. Uh, just anything that you're looking for. This is a beautiful site, and that's player what we props. do. That's the one. Prayer. I was like, yo, what's the other one? The player prop one. Shout out to my dog, Deke, as well. Futures. Futures. You, you can't go wrong with the Futures either, man. You want to bet on the MVP award, offensive player mm-hmm. of the year, all that mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. And more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, we got the promo code. And that promo code is Moat. So when you download the app and you make your first wager, when you put in as simple as $5 and you use the promo code Moat, you will receive $200 and free bets instantly. That's what we call Draft the Kings deposit bonus money right there. Who doesn't love a little deposit bonus money? It's a good situation. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But we also understand that at times, man, you could overdo it. You mm-hmm. could definitely overdo it. I've overdone it at times, Deke. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Sometimes I get a little chaotic, man. And when that happens, you know, that's what we like to call maybe a gambling problem. Or maybe that person might be in a crisis and they need some counseling. Or maybe they just simply need referral services. And if that person lives in New York, which, you know, I'm very fond of that part of the country, New York. It's a number up there that you call or text. But if you're located anywhere else, the number you should dial is one eight. Hundred gambler, I settle one eight hundred gambler. 